Mechanical as a, a grade one series four. Now, let me play it for you first and then take you through how some of this works. second page, you've got the theme again. A bit of a twist. A little bit different. And then a bar 21. And then a bar 27, it goes, the theme goes to the left hand for something different. second page because all the patterns start to repeat at the same time so it doesn't mean sometimes it pays not to go from learning a to b or a to z you don't have to go step first bar second bar third bar you can jump around once you find a phrase and you learn the phrase you can then learn other phrases later on to help you learn it faster help you learn it deeper um, and there's a natural progression there this left hand has more of a, an ostinato for those basically a thing that just repeats like a Slow down with the Rowan Tarno in bar 14. So just watch for that. 
it gets slow, it gets quieter. Um, almost this piece too, I guess the other thing about that ostinato, it's just a, a three chord chopping. So even when it down bar 13, it still continues in the right hand. Between one of the hands. Um, I guess there's an exception to that at bar 28 where the pulsing starts to stop. You're, you're, you're getting quieter, it's fading away, you get this feeling like you're coming to the end of the piece. That feeling of pulsing disappears. say this this part of 27 28 29 it's kind of tricky so it's worth going over um, as soon as you can in your left hand you've got two five one so the one's a little bit unexpected change and change again it's a little unusual that this I think it's got like three hand position changes you start with two for just that one phrase. That's a lot to, di to digest. It can trip you up if you're trying to sigh read it. But you should spend on time with that, learning the, the fingering. But everything else, um, Yeah, mood, ambience, a picture of a, or a feeling of a bird flying in the sky. Um, and yeah, it's good use of keys because while you're in that D Dorian, and for those that, that you don't that don't know, um, Dorian is a mode coming from C major. It's the second mode of the key. Same notes, but a different key center. D is like your your home note. Um, but that all changes at bar nine when you've got the, the B flat comes in. That's a different kind of key center. particularly that last line of page one, 13 to 17. A lot going on, there are lots of different notes. There's a slowdown, there's a quieting. Um, you can draw this out, and you're back to that first C, and so on. Um, and you can do what's a, it's got an interesting suggestion here. Uh, for a crowd of practice ideas, that's written in D Dorian. Um, so you could improvise, create your own right hand melody using the notes of D Dorian while playing D minor and C major chords in the left hand. That's not a bad idea. Some uh, notes on Seabird. Hope that was helpful. See you next time.